Well, eighth graders, happy Tuesday. This is a fresh one. Um, screencast about how to change color without actually changing texture. So let's get right to it. I think I'd like to do it differently today also. I would like you to pause it periodically. I'll give you the cue so that you might follow along step by step and maybe make it easier on yourself. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if you're having success learning because you don't know when to stop and try the activity so let's let's do that so first things first we have to find a man online in a tuxedo it's prom season and i thought a tuxedo would be a pretty cool thing to try to change color on give you uh four different versions of a tuxedo at the end of it so that's kind of where we're going all right so step one jump on chrome and i would like you to do a search if you would please try to get the same <clears throat> image i have i think it would be easier that way for doing this little screencast activity. So as you can see up in the search bar, I typed in man in blue and gray tuxedo. And lo and behold, this first hit, it's an 800 by 800 pixel uh, file. And I'm looking at that dark gray jacket color thinking maybe we can change that one. All right, so let's start off with that. Um, if that doesn't work, sometimes dark colors are hard to change color on and brighten up. Um, then I could also go with uh, this one here. So, um, Let's give this a go. All right, so pause this, do that search, and then when you're done, resume. All right, we're back, and so you need to try to learn how to get a file from uh, Photoshop, from uh, Chrome into Photoshop. Can't remember if I did this with you. So um, what I'm gonna do is click the image to isolate it, and I'm going to take the image with my mouse and right click, and I can choose Copy Image, okay? so. You may pause now and copy your image. Now that you've paused it and you've copied your image, you can come back and launch Photoshop, all right? And really getting it into Photoshop from a copy is really straightforward. And we are back into the editor. Um, might be confusing for some of you to see that Chrome background behind your editor. So if you're more comfortable with your uh, application frame, then you can put that back in there. Remember, this is the window application frame that puts that dark gray background behind your interface and it makes things maybe a little easier on your eyes. So that's your call. We're only working with one file today. So anyway, to get your uh, image of the man in the gray tuxedo in, we go to file and we choose new image from clipboard. Isn't that cool? You can copy something from uh, a source like the internet and then when you paste it in, there he is. All right, okay, from yesterday, next step. Um, we're gonna take this original layer, all right, and we're gonna duplicate it because I wanna have a before and after. When this is over with, you guys are gonna have five different layers. So this first layer is gonna be called original, all right, and then I want you to uh, right click that layer out here in the palette and choose duplicate layer. Okay, what's that? You can't find your layer palette? Okay, I'll show you where to find it after I name this. Um, I'm gonna call this one green because I'm gonna try to color this jacket green when I'm finished, okay? Um, if you couldn't find your layer palette, by the way, go to Window Menu and make sure you have a check by layers, all right? Step three, if I'm keeping track correctly, take the resources you learned yesterday, all right? I'm gonna start with the quick select brush and the object of the game is to do a good job and select just the, the dark part of that tuxedo jacket. All right, so I'm going to start here, work my way up, okay, and I'm working my way back down. Now I'm going to make sure I don't get any of the other stuff, like I noticed I got some of the gray inside of here. Okay, so I'm going to go with, um, go with the uh, minus, see this little brush with minus? Bring this down a little bit, maybe I can teach it to take away from that selection. So I'm trying to get rid of that little bit of gray that I got. So I'm gonna go back to plus, and I'll work this side. Okay, watch, she's got a little handkerchief up there. We don't wanna to try to get that selected. So, all right, I can't see what I'm doing. So um, I'm gonna hit zoom, and this is where I'm going to maybe switch over to my regular selection brush. Remember, there's quick select, which is I'm, what I'm on now, which is, you know, you have uh, very little control and I just switched to the selection brush. And all I'm doing now is I'm holding space bar with my finger and I'm looking around to make sure I haven't missed anything. And lo and behold, I have. So 
you guys are going to want to see what I missed and then pause and go make sure you go clean yours up. Okay, now it seems subtle, but this little area right up here wasn't selected. And believe it or not, if I don't grab some of those little areas, it's going to be noticeable because you'll have just a little halo of leftover color. Okay, I noticed this island around his hanky. That's good. That means it's not selected because I don't want to change that. I just want to change the blue. All right, so um, pause and go back and make sure you've switched over to the selection brush and now you're being a really meticulous Photoshop user and you're moving around your image by how is that holding spacebar and you're taking away from and adding to this region all right and I missed an area down below where I don't have his coat you can see that I'm going to go back. So really, you guys, it's a combination. And the better job you do making your selection here, the more convincing it'll be after you go to change the color. Changing the color is easy. But being, you know, really spot on with the selection sets a table for that. All right, so let's assume that you guys are ready to rock and change the color of the jacket, okay? Now you'll know right away if you screwed up and you did not have a really good selection, undo and go back and try again. All right, so I'm gonna double click my zoom tool and final check. Is your selection spot on? Yes, it is. All right, if not, pause, fix, come back. All right, I change color. Make sure this layer is selected, the green layer, right? The one I call green that you copied. And then to change a color, we go to the Enhance menu, right? This is a menu uh, option that we have to try to find. And it's kind of hidden away here, but we go to Adjust Color and choose Replace Color. Okay. Now, I like to take this dialog box and move it over. Okay, the object of the game. In this little window where there's a black square, we're going to try to make his jacket appear white. All right, so the first thing I do is I take this eyedropper in this little, trying to get mixed up with that eyedropper, this eyedropper, and I simply click on maybe this upper part of his shoulder trying to get a baseline, okay? Now, I see a little, I want all of the jacket to appear white because it's telling me that's where you picked up the pixels that look blue, okay? So I'm gonna go to this eyedrop plus because I see a little area underneath his armpit with darker blue. So you can either click it right on this white part of the picture, or you can go out here and click it on the image itself. So notice how that lighten that up. I'm trying to get all of the jacket a light color. So um, try not to pay attention to anything else in here, right? Like how dark this is because it's not selected and that's not gonna have an impact on my color. When you think you have the selection pretty much made and all of his jacket appears the same white, even the little fleck up on his shoulder. Then to change color, we have a hue slider right here. And you can simply drag the slider until you get the shade of green that you would like. All right, now here's a note. When you're taking a color like this, it's dark to start with, you're not gonna get a real bright color. Okay, like a neon green, okay, or something wild like that. There is a saturation slider that will, you know, increase the intensity. I mean, this is the extreme, right? So, and you can see little areas where you can't, you know, can't get away with that because it's just, you know, you're taking a dark color and trying to make it something that's not. So, um, I think that looks pretty darn classy right there. All right, so I'm gonna okay this. And look at that, we have green, we have the original. Now here's a really cool thing you can do. All right, don't lose your selection by the way. When you poke the eye out for the green layer, that makes it invisible. So you can say there's the blue, there's the green. Isn't that cool? All right, that's two different shades of a tuxedo color. All right, now what I want you to do, I want a five total. So you got the original down there. You got green, okay? I want you to color it five or three more times, sorry, to give you a total of five. Okay, and make sure, boy, boy, I've waited too long. I'm really guilty of this one to do a screencast. Maybe you took the care to save this earlier. If you haven't, get on it. File, save this right now, right? Save it in your folder. 
tomorrow's grading day, super easy for you. I'm gonna grade that, that veg head and this, all right? But we wanna make sure we're, we're doing the right thing here, right? We're gonna duplicate this layer and um, what do you wanna call it? Um, pick out your next color, okay? Whatever that may be. Maybe you would like to try a burgundy, okay? That would be really sweet too with that gray, maybe a little burgundy top, okay? Um, and then and you haven't lost your selection so you can continue by the way the, the morning kids learn that you can save your selection so might as well do that right do this before we 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 call it good if i go to the select menu i can save the selection okay and i can call this up tomorrow i'm just going to call this jacket all right and then what happens is if you take your select or if you do you know if i do deselect and say oh man i worked so hard to get in the selection Hey, good news, you just saved it, right? It became permanently embedded as part of this file. So if I go to select, load selection, lo and behold, I can load my jacket. Look at that. So that is super mega cool. All right, I'm going to stop this for now. You guys uh, should be good to go. Make your, how many layers? Five total, right? The original and then four colors of your choice. And then play the little game where you poke the eye out. Now, I haven't colored my burgundy yet, but... Trust me, we're going to finish the screencast. I'm on it. So, all right. Adios.